Hello, my friends. Today, let's draw the space needle in Seattle. So you see, this is a draft of our drawing with the city skyline in the background. So let's get started. First, let's draw the outline of the structure. It kind of looks like the shape of a flying saucer. So just a rough shape. Alright. Then draw a curved line here. And another one at about the same curve angle. Next, link the two points with a half circle. Okay. And I will draw another line on top of that one. Then there is another structure on top, which is where the observation deck is located. Alright, and two diagonal lines, symmetrical on each side. And that's for the roof of the top floor. And see, you can trace a vertical line right in the middle because this base needle is uh, symmetrical on both sides. It is linked to the top of the space needle with a cap. And this cap has actually some use. It can shoot a powerful beam of light upward towards the sky. And it is also called the sky beam. Alright. And at the very top, we have the famous needle. For the tower structure and legs, I will only draw half of it because we will add the Seattle skyline behind it later on to make it look more complete. So those are the legs connecting the buildings, including the restaurant and the observation roof. And in the middle, there is the elevator going all the way down. Alright, now that we have the basic outline, let's erase those little marks. And add some details to our space needle. First, those lines that go all around the bottom of the building. Alright. And... We will color that middle part of the building, which is actually where the restaurant is. You see that for the shading, I color around the line a little darker than the rest. And the left side of the building will also be darker because of the shadow. And then this is for the observation deck. We have some windows, like that. And let's shade the roof. You see you better have a well sharpened pencil for the little details up there. So the lines stronger. The cap, again the line very sharp and dark. And every part that is on the left will be shaded darker. Alright. And the needle itself. Mostly the left side. Now let's add some shade to the windows of the observation deck a little more. You see still darker on the left side and gradually going lighter on the right as well as the restaurant again the left side much darker and you can also add some shadow to the bottom of the building and also for the tower structure add some little marks for the elevator and now that we are almost done 
I will now simply sketch the skyline of Seattle. I am doing that according to a picture, but you can do your own buildings. You see just some simple lines, most of them squares and rectangles. You can add some variety, some lows, some highs, as well as some skinny and some wider buildings. And to make it look even more interesting, we will add some different textures to each building to make it look like a real city. Some will have tiny windows, some tall patterns, vertical and horizontal lines. You could easily sketch a whole city like that, but this is really rough just to have a background because the main subject is still our space needle. And yep, we are done. I hope you enjoyed it and thanks for watching. Make sure to check my other videos on how to draw monuments. I will see you soon.